up YouTube, it's Dan here and it's time for my thoughts on a fragrance for men from Marc Jacobs. And that fragrance is Bang, brought to us in 2010. Now the perfumer behind this is Ann Gottlieb, who's also done 212 Men. So you gotta love that. Now, if you are out there, uh, like I have been, on YouTube, seeing reviews of this fragrance, uh, boy, it's not at all what I thought it was going to be. I thought this fragrance was going to be like pepper spray in your face. Going to burn your nostrils, make you sneeze, something like that. But boy, uh, it is not. At least to me it's not. Uh, I was very shocked uh, when I finally got my nose on this. I was thinking, what in the hell are people talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Frankly, I love this stuff. And frankly, I kind of like it a lot. Because what you really have in Marc Jacobs' bang is vetiver and pepper. And of course, I'm going to love that. But there's also a couple other things going on as well. You've got Elemi in there, uh, which is going to add like a citrusy, lemony type of aroma along with the vetiver and pepper. And also in the background, there is a wood accord as well, like a cedar laying underneath. I always like to describe fragrances like I'm making a salad. And if I was making a salad called Marc Jacobs Bang, this is how it would go. I got my big bowl, and on the bottom, the first layer is cedar wood chips. And then filling up most of the bowl is vetiver grass. Now, I'm not talking just vetiver grass. I'm talking like somebody just freshly plucked it. So not only do you have the grass, but you have a little bit of the roots there as well. So you've got an earthy quality going on with the bitter green vetiver grass. And then over the top of that, somebody sprinkled some pepper, and then somebody sprinkled some lemon juice. Now, the citrus in this is not loud in your face. It is there kind of as an undertone, adding a bitter dampness along with the rest of what's going on. And the cedar is buried there at the bottom because you just get a little bit of the wood coming through with the vetiver and the pepper that is going on. And uh, do I like this? Hell yeah. <laughs> I freaking love this stuff. Uh, but there is one downfall, if you want to call it a downfall, which a lot of you probably would. Uh, but lately, as far as longevity and me are concerned, uh, I don't really concern myself with that too much. You know, if I need a fragrance to last me a long time, uh, I'll grab a fragrance that lasts me a long time. But frankly, if I have a day where I want to switch it up and wear different stuff, well, I like stuff that lasts a little bit shorter like this one does, but this one is really short. <laughs> I get about three hours dead on every time, and then after three hours, oh, she just, boof, she goes away, and it becomes a very, very, very intensely close skin scent. We're talking close. <laughs> I don't know how it does that. You know, it's got vetiver in it, it's got woods in it, and you would think the stuff would last, you know, eight, ten hours. I don't know how they make it go away so quick, <laughs> but after three hours, she is pretty much gone, but as far as projection goes in those three hours, it is pretty darn good. Uh, people pick up on it, people notice it, so that's great. Now, as far as reviews in the community, uh, boy, this is like, this is definitely one of those love or hate frags. Man, because if you go on Fragrantica, you see the loves and the, the, the hates are pretty much balanced, and it's pretty much neutral wins it. And on base notes, this one gets 19 positives, 7 neutrals, and 17 negatives. So pretty much even there <laughs> on the hate. I am more in the love range. I mean, if this thing lasted like 8 hours, I'd be hyping this stuff up. Because we are now moving on to what the ladies at work think about this stuff. Man, ladies love this stuff. Uh excellent reactions. I was totally surprised. And what I think is uh, great about it the most is that to me it does. It seems like a masculine scent. One that I would feel, you know, rough, raw, rugged, like a man should feel, you know, wearing this stuff. And the kind of comments that I got were uh, this one lady, this college girl, I uh, was sitting next to her and she's looking at me and she's like, damn, damn, I like that one a lot. Oh, you should see her face. I wish I could show you their faces. And these other two girls, uh, they both took a whiff of it. 
And they were like, yeah, I like that. That one's uh, that one's real manly. But the one thing that people didn't get out of this was pepper. So I don't know where everyone's coming up with this big pepper blast, you know, in your face. Because most of the ladies that smelled this, uh, the, their first reaction was not, my God, that smells like pepper. <laughs> in fact, most of them didn't even pick up on the pepper. One lady said salt, <laughs> which I can totally see where she's coming from. Uh, but uh, overall, ladies, nothing but good things to say. You know, nothing bad at all. So you got to love that. Now, uh, let's take this to the next level. And let's find out what my gal thinks about this one. All right, guys, it's time to find out if Amanda is ready to get banged. Oh, my gosh. Well. <laughs> I had to do it. I guess so. But, you know, I'm not the only one that's going to get banged. Everybody else outside is getting banged. Yeah, right there's lots of fireworks <laughs> going on outside. Yeah, yeah. Woo, party time. Woo. <laughs> Plus, now I almost want to hear that Ricky Martin song. She bangs. She bangs. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Go. Time to smell it. You know, it's not that bad. Yeah. But I mean, it first, like the first, first initial spray, it does. It got that peppery vibe. Yeah. Like black pepper all the way. But then after that, it's not that bad. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. Kind of has that pickle. That, that pickle smell? That pickle smell. Yeah. Like, you know, you just yeah. get your hands in the pickle jar and then you wipe them out the best you can, but you still have that after smell of a pickle? That Yeah, that reminds me, and I forgot to mention that this frag, I would uh, consider it to be along the same lines as Terre d'Hermes. And if anybody has seen that review, Amanda at the end said it kind of reminded her of pickles. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool that you said that. Uh, I don't know, because... Kind of the same thing. I guess so. I guess I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, I mean, it just smells like, you know, you just had your hand in, like, deep down in a pickle jar. <laughs> and you try to get this stuff off you, and then it just it still lingers. I don't know. Yeah. But it's not too bad. I, mean, and, I like pickles. And the Lego works. No, pickles, <laughs> bang, <laughs> all oh, kinds of fun stuff. Oh, my God, yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's true. But, it's pretty, but it's pretty good, though, huh? Yeah, like, right good. now, do you get, like, a huge pepper in your face? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? No, I mean, like, the first spray psh, is hey. pepper, and then it's, For, like, like one second. Yeah. yeah. And, then no. and now it's not pepper. Nope. Not at all. Now it's a big pickle. Now it's a big pickle. <laughs> no. That's right. That's right. Can't wait to A big, right salty that. pickle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. That's too much. See? Bang's not that bad. No. Bang's not bad at all. Bang's good. That's right. Bang's good for everybody. That's right. Especially Even dogs. I know. Backlog. 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 It's cheaper. It's banging season, I guess. And then this is banging season in Meggersville. No. <laughs> no. No. Right. Okay. Okay. We gotta go. That's enough. That's, That's enough right. banging. That's right. That's okay. Good. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. You guys take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye.